Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I have many of the orchids that were in the laboratory that need to come out of the lab to make space for other things. So I'm getting back to the uh, the basic propagation uh, that I work on in, uh, you know, in the laboratory, uh, out in the garden and everywhere. Um, I have just, there's a lot of orchids here. And when you look at it, there's, I think there's about um, 25 orchid seedlings in each of these containers. Um, what I plan on doing is um, incorporating them as best as I can into my orchid growing space that's outside of my pool cage area here. Um, and I, but I don't know if they're all going to fit. I've got some um, some orchids that are on growing on burlap that I am going to take the burlap and try to mount the burlap on cedar boards. Most of the orchids that you see here are seedlings and what I'll do with the seedlings is I'll put them in these trays and then distribute them in some of the spaces that I have. I also have uh, baskets that'll handle not too many considering what I have here but the baskets that I have um, I figured out I can put uh, four by four grid, so 16 of these orchid seedlings, the ones in the two inch pots, I can put those out in the uh, the baskets that I have. So I'm going to try to distribute them as best as I can. I had a meeting of my orchid breeding group last night and some of them uh, agreed to foster care for some of these orchids. So um, we'll see how that goes as well. These guys have been in uh, these containers in the laboratory under very controlled conditions for anywhere from two to three months, which is a long time. And now um, I think they're big enough and they're ready just to be placed outside. Um, as you can tell from that side of the, uh, the, uh, the, the video, that these guys, I'm trying to keep them in the shade, but the sun is creeping in from the from the shaded area. So these these guys, they need to go outside. They need to go in. It's not direct sun, but they'll need to go in uh, filtered sun. And I think I'm I think I'm ready to do that with most of these. So there are a wide range of orchids here. What I want to do is um, get behind the camera and show you some of what's here. They're, they're just, these continue to grow at, at really, really rapid uh, paces and they're doing so well. I'm afraid to bring them out. And again, so the discussion my orchid breeding group uh, meeting last night was how to have these, how to get these guys out and have very high survival rate. And, and I think uh, the conclusion that we came to is that um, you have to, you know, not all of these are gonna live, so you're gonna lose some, but up to this point, there's, there's very, every, everything has lived. I have not removed a single plant from this group um, from, for any issue. And this has been, this has been, like I said, two, most of them are three months. They've been in the laboratory in these containers. So this is gonna be a little bit of a shock to take them outside. The temperature outside here is about what it was in the laboratory, but they're going to be getting, um, you know, a lot brighter light. And, and I'm concerned a little bit about, I'm concerned about that. I'll keep them in the shade, but still they're going to be getting kind of filtered sunlight through the, um, through the leaves on the, on the palm trees and through other things uh, in there. So what I want to do though, before I put them out, is I want to look at, I'll take the tops of the containers off, and then we'll kind of look at each of these batches uh, one at a time, and I, where I can maybe fill you in a little bit on what's going on here. But um, they're ready to go out, and I'm hoping for high survival, but we'll see how that goes. I will put some of them, so there, there are about 25 uh, orchids in each of these containers. These will handle 50, so I think I'm going to, um, to have three of these trays that I'll be able to share with the foster parents uh, to see to see how they grow under their uh, conditions. And I'll just kind of mix things up and go from there. The rest of these I will try to integrate into my orchid growing space the best that I can. Okay, so let me get behind the camera so we can take a little bit of a closer look at some of these and uh, go from there. Okay, and we're back. So this is the um, this is the first tray that we want to take a look at, and, and I don't want to spend too much time 
on each one, but these are mostly a, uh, it's mostly a Cattleya hybrid that I made. Look at the, with some of these things, look at the, you know, really incredible root growth that you can see on many of these seedlings. So this is a, this is a new Cattleya hybrid that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, Hawaiian Prominence is one of the parents. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what it, what it does and what it looks like. Some of the plants here are pretty big. Moving over, this is another Cattleya hybrid and you don't see near the root growth on this plant that you did on the, on the first one. I'm hoping that still, I'm going to be a pretty high survival rate, but we'll see. I just don't know. All right, moving over a little bit. This is another Cattleya hybrid uh, that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. So this is a, a Digbiana cross and again roots nice roots growing out on these guys and i've uh, deflashed these before and i have some of these growing and they they tend to do pretty well um, another new cattleya hybrid uh, right here some of these are are looking pretty you know pretty good it's unfortunately the one in the big pot on the top right isn't it didn't really uh, didn't really fare very well. I should also mention that the white that's on the leaves that is the mycorrhizal inoculant that I sprayed on some of these plants, and you can see the residual is still there. It doesn't look like it negatively affected them, and that's that's what I'm hoping for. And we'll see how that goes. All right, moving on over here. This is I got to look at it. Uh, this is. Um, Anobi purple splash a self of that. So these are this this is a small den and that's kind of what it looks like. And I'm curious to see what these things go how, how they how they do when I put them out in the real world and that'd be coming coming along pretty soon. Over here are larger plants. These are some fowls. This is a no ID fowl that I've made that I've used to make burlap fowls with uh, in the past. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. They, I've, I've never potted them up. Surprisingly, as it sounds, I've never potted these guys up. I've only made burlap fowls with them, and they seem to be doing pretty well. The ones that I've put out in my uh, in my yard on my trees, and then I've given other people to mount on the trees, they're they're doing really well. None of them are flowered yet, but we'll see. Um, so these, this is. I got to look at this. This is another one of that. It's the Hawaiian prominence. Um, Cattleya cross, and some of these are just the root growth on these phenomenal. Some of these plants are just huge, and I'm looking at the leaf on that. I don't know what that is, and maybe that's going to be some spotting that I'm going to see on the flowers. But that's the only plant right there in the where the leaf is in the middle where there's that kind of regular spotting on the leaf. Um, so I'm curious to see how these things, how these things grow and how things are going to work. And then finally, this is a, uh, a dendrobium that is growing like gangbusters, growing crazy. And there's new, um, new canes that are growing out of these things. And we'll, we'll see how they do outside. The, uh, both parents are doing pretty well that are in my collection, so hopefully these will also do well. And then taking a step down a little bit, these are some bur And what I did is I took some of the, some of the orchids that w didn't look that great. Maybe I shouldn't have done that and kind of stuck them on the burlap. And some of these are doing well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys there and these guys here. And there's a combination of things here. So there's some small fowls. There's actually some vandas in here and some cattleyas. And I'm going to take these and kind of uh, take the burlap and use that because uh, they're sticking to the burlap. And then mount these kind of rubber, put them with rubber bands on these boards. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let me try to get these into my collection. And then I'll maybe have a final follow-up showing you where all these things have gone. Okay, and we are back. It's been a few hours since I stopped recording because it, it took me a while to get everything settled away, but I think I'm good with everything. The thing that took me the longest time, I'll show you in a, in a, in a minute, uh, but that was all the burlap fowls that I had to mount onto a board. So this is, if we take a look at it, um, these are, I just integrated a lot of these into my existing 
um, area that I was that I was growing. So this this flat right here, uh, this has some new orchids in it, stuff that I just put up today. And then the back flat right there, those are that's all new ones. So that flat I kind of put together back there. And this is in a really protected area underneath the palm tree. So I hope those um, I hope those will do well. Uh, the flat in the front has been out here the longest, so that gets the most light exposure. And the ones in the back, I don't know if you can tell, it's, it's after five o'clock. Sun is getting ready to, to set, but that area is uh, pretty shaded. So I have the new ones back here, but they're out and they're exposed. So I think they should be, I think they should be okay. I just have a small amount. Here's the, um, the basket that I was telling you about. So I just got a small amount in here, not too many. And these are ones that I promise to people. Um, when I make crosses and I borrow pollinia from uh, people that bring their orchids in to, to shows or meetings, I say, I'll give you some. So these are some of the seedlings that I promised uh, to those people. So I have those set aside. And this is in a really shaded area. So it's underneath this uh, Duranta kind of hand away. I have some other orchids. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but I got some other orchids. I got some other orchids uh, in there and in that area. So that's a nice shaded location over there. All right. The majority of them, though, are in my regular um, nursery space. So I've got a flat right here. And what I had to do is I had to just kind of take them out and organize them here. So I got a flat here. Here I don't have a flat, but I just happen to have just, there's just a bunch of orchids on a shelf and I put a, uh, you know, a piece of uh, protective barrier right there in front of it. So these things can't knock, get knocked out. But still what happens is I get, I do get swirls back in here and they run around in here and the birds do too and then what happens is occasionally stuff get not gets knocked out or I lose tags or something like this. So here's more of my nursery space right here. These are some some larger um, larger plants. This is where I keep really the nice plants uh, that I that I want to bring out eventually and again the bottom there and these are all on the bottom. <laughs> you can tell they're all new ones. Okay I'm not done yet. So I've got some more orchids uh, back here, oh, I should have taken this stuff out of the way, but uh, back in here, I just have some more, uh, some more orchids. So that's a new flat, and that's uh, that's got new orchids in that whole flat on that shelf. I can't can't really give you a good angle to take a look at it, but where I spent the majority of my time, and again, I got a really bad angle on this, but all of these board mounted uh, orchids are not all of them, but most of them are from the uh, the deflasking that I that I shared. So I took these things, these were on, these were the ones that were on the burlap and I put them on these boards here to take a look at them. Here's some older ones right here. So you take a look at them, there's some of them right here. This has, uh, this has moss on it. Uh, this has some other type of medium on it. This is one of the newer ones right, right here. And again, I can't get a good angle on it. The orchids don't look very good, but I took most of the, um, you know, the leftovers and put them in burlap because the burlap ones do so well. And they're, they're doing okay. They're still alive and they're doing well. And, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's all along. I probably can't tell. I got a chain. I got a small chain here and I have, I had to bend, cut and bend all the hooks uh, that go through the board and then attach to this chain. Uh, these are set up. So tomorrow morning, um, what happens is tomorrow morning is my irrigation morning. These are, this is my irrigation orchid zone. So all these guys are going to get hit with irrigation that comes out of this line right here. You, you might not be able to see that very well. So I got an irrigation head right there. It's probably focusing on the fence. Um, but anyway, all those will get, everything gets watered in the orchid zone. And then tomorrow is also, uh, these get watered really early in the morning and then tomorrow right afterwards is when I'll hit them with uh, just some really light fertilizer. That's my one day a week that I fertilize is tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow, I'm sorry, probably late morning. It's irrigating first thing, it irrigates at, uh, at 6 a.m. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. 
I, I am happy that I finally got these things kind of settled away, at least for a little while, temporarily. And I do have more in the lab, and I got to deflask more. So, you know, temporary solution. Uh, and I think some of these flats are going to the foster parents anyway. All right. Um, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you could click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, with my seedlings tucked away in their nursery, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and happy propagating.